Hi everybody, this is Joan and Kay, and today I'm going to show you how to dye a synthetic wig for cosplay. Now a little bit about this wig. This is a Cosworks Burgundy Clover wig. Uh, there's two types of clover wig. There's this standard, standard length clover which comes to a little bit past the shoulders and then there's a clover long or clover L wig and that comes to about the bust. This wig is made from Konecolon fiber. There's actually uh, another, another, I guess you could say, subgroup of Konecolon. It's uh, Elora. Uh, Elora Konecolon fibers are uh, a bit difficult to dye. Um, both normal Konecolon and Elora uh, are, they have Teflon finishes, so it makes the wigs really uh, smooth, shiny, and uh, pretty much resistant to uh, dirt and debris. Because of the Teflon finish, uh, you might find it a little bit difficult to get your wig to dye, so the pigment may slide slide off. Uh, I've actually um, experimented with a Allura fiber wig, um, and it just would not take the dye. The dye may sit on top of the wig, but it wouldn't actually stain the, the individual hairs. I use a paper towel holder as my wig head stand. I use it when dyeing, I use it when styling. Uh, all you gotta do is to clean it off is just spray it with some regular kitchen spray 409, Fantastic, what, whatever floats your boat and the dye comes right off. Um, I also use a, um, a clamp. This is a C clamp um, to make sure my wig head isn't moving around when I'm dyeing or styling um, and I just use a little seven dollar TV stand I got at Walmart um, nothing fancy pretty ghetto <laughs> um, I also purchased a uh, drop cloth or well a plastic sheet from Walmart for about three dollars I got it on clearance in the painter section after you have your setup uh, ready to go, you're going to need a spray bottle. This one I got from Sally's for about $3. There's other places you could get them. Again, Walmart, um, Target. You could probably get them from Home Depot. Um, you just need a good spray bottle. I picked this one in particular because it has units of measure on it. As you can see, it has ounces which I've marked in cups. So eight ounces is one cup, uh, 16 is two cups, and so on. I also use 70% uh, rubbing alcohol. I haven't tried others, and I've seen videos and read forums where people have tried 90% uh, and have gotten results, but this is what I've learned so far, so I just stick with that. I recommend getting the big bottle because of course the longer your wig is the more alcohol and uh, therefore dyeing sessions you're gonna have. Um, there are two popular methods of um, dyeing wigs. One is the Sharpie wig and the other is the FW ink. The F FW ink is an acrylic artist ink. Uh, it's really, it's highly concentrated and uh, if you can't find FW in particular, then you can just ask your local art store um, if they just have regular uh, acrylic ink. Now, mind you, it's not acrylic paint. It's acrylic ink because you're staining the uh, hairs. If you put acrylic paint or paint in general, you're not staining your wig. You're just putting goop on top of the fiber. Um, FW also has uh, different lines of their F FW ink. This is just the regular FW ink. They also have a pearlescent and I think they have one other. I'm not sure. But the pearlescent, like the name suggests, is more metallic. So if you use that, chances are you're going to end up with uh, all kind of shiny bits in your wig. 
Um, I haven't used that myself, but if you want to try it and it works for you, a po post the results. Other people might want want to use that. Okay, so after you get your pigment mixed up, um, you can just go crazy on your wig and start spraying it. But you may just want to go wet by wet. It is tedious, but you will get an even tone throughout your wig. So let's start. Okay, so this is um, the first dye. I'll probably dye this one more time, but as you can see, it's uh, purple now. Now the reason why I chose to um, dye a wig purple instead of buy a purple wig is because there aren't too many wigs that I've been able to find that are this shade and are cheap. <laughs> Um, the, the wig that was, um, pretty similar to this color, or at least the finished color, this is still wet, so it'll, it'll probably be a little bit lighter than this, um, is the Cosworks Black Cherry wig, and there's, uh, Airly, I think that's how you say it, um, uh, they also have a, uh, Black Cherry or Black Forest, whatever they call it, but, um, it's expensive to ship over here um, it's it's a thirty dollar wig but with shipping and handling it's it comes to about seven dollars seventy dollars and I'm just not paying seventy dollars for a wig I'm gonna cut up <laughs> 